pay extra, could we maybe get some grease or fat? Good morning. How are y'all doing this morning? I had a free morning today where I could uh, stay in because I got an appointment in town at 9 a.m. So I didn't have to rush off before the sun came up today. And I love that because that means I get to go on my morning walk. And I, that is my favorite thing now. I love being able to walk first thing in the morning. Uh, ever since last year when I started doing that, it just got to be such a, a good routine. I really miss it now that I have to get up before the sun comes up and head out to work because of how far I have to drive. But you know, it gives me an appreciation for what a lot of you are having to go through because you know, the first half of doing my diet, I was working full time as an administrator of a retirement home. And the last half of the diet, I've been basically working on trying to launch a YouTube channel <laughs> and, uh, or really, you know, take it to the next level. And, you know, sometimes things don't work out as well as you would like. So I had to go back to work, but you know, it's, it's good to be able to do all this work while I'm doing this diet because it shows you that there's no excuses. There's just no excuses. You can, you can start eating right no matter when. You just have to make it a priority. And that's, that's what a lot of people ask me about how I did it, is it's just deciding you're gonna do it. You're gonna stick with it full force. Uh, if you go back to my very first video, 125 days on Lion Diet, uh, I explained in the very beginning I was planning on trying this for six weeks. Uh, here it is, February 22nd. So I've been doing it for 13 months and a, roughly a week. For two, yeah, roughly a week. And uh, I feel great. As a matter of fact, I feel better than great. When I was in school, I, I mentioned this last video. When I was in high school and grade school, I was the kid that couldn't climb the rope in the gym, you know, cause I was a heavy kid. And uh, I just never thought I was gonna be able to do that. Even when I got you know, in relatively better shape, I was still too heavy to get up there when I was later in high school. It was just a bridge too far. And uh, after my workout last night, which by the way, I did get a chance to go do CrossFit last night. I gotta tell you, these wall walks right here, these are the best. They really work. Your arms and shoulders right in this area, so good. Oh, one of my favorite things to do if I can manage them out. But boy, they were kicking my butt last night. Uh, and then doing these other exercises for the CrossFit. It was a good sweat. It's a uh, it's good stretch too. I usually have a hard time getting my lower body worked out. And the CrossFit's really helped with that. But back to the rope. After my workout, I decided I can't just show you, tell you guys that I climbed the rope. I've got to be able to show you. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I remember thinking to myself, well, last time I climbed it, literally hand right on top of another, like my hand was on top of my other hand perfectly every time I was going up. So it felt like kind of a baby climb. So I thought to myself before I did this, I wonder if I can just pull myself up there and, and climb this rope and not even use my feet. Because when I was in high school, I was trained how, you know, like ROTC, we would climb the rope. You'd use your, your leg to kind of brace yourself and pull, use your legs to push up and then just hold on for a moment while you grabbed again with your feet. So I never thought, even though I could barely do that, I never thought I'd be able to do this. Take a look. So as you can see, I was able to make it to the top and I was still surprised. I really was like, not sure I was gonna be able to do this even after I'd already done something similar the week or a couple of weeks before. So that was a big deal to me. I mean, it feels good to be able to do that. I have never known that feeling. You know, when you've been athletic all your life or if you were the kind of kid that just zipped up to the top of the rope, you don't, you can't probably relate to what I'm talking about, but when you've never been able to do something, and then just before you hit your 50th birthday, you're able to do those things, that's pretty remarkable. And I gotta tell you, I owe it all to Lion Diet. It's, uh, it's been the thing that has catalyzed the change in every area of my life like nothing has ever before. 
And I want everyone to feel this way. I want everyone to feel youthful. Now, I will tell you, you've got to be careful when you start to have that body that you <laughs> always wanted but never thought you would have. Because uh, once I got to the top of the rope, I forgot you got to get down the rope. <laughs> I was so happy about getting up there. When I got up there, I was like, okay, I'm here. I'll just let take it easy, head on back down. Well, you can see here, it wasn't a good idea. <laughs> Don't ever slide down the rope when you're done. If you can climb up the rope all the way, be sure you go back down hand over hand as best you can or jump down because man, I looked down and my skin was peeled back. So, learned that lesson. So, yep, don't slide down the rope. But you know what? If you wanna be able to have those victories in your life that you've never had, this may be your chance. You can go back and check out my story and see how I've come from being uh, somebody who was literally on the verge of dying from gut pain and uh, other issues that had come up from bad diet and lack of exercise. But even though I'm exercising now daily, that's something I just never, I always wanted to do, but never was able to really do because I didn't have the energy. And because of the diet, I have that energy. You can have that energy and you can climb those mountains. And that's what I wanna see and that's why I'm here. To encourage you to push on through, to get that right food, if you respond well to a diet like mine, maybe Lyot diet's for you. Maybe it's just a regular old carnivore diet. All you gotta do is eat meat. You know, lion diet, I eat ruminant meat, water, and salt. People always ask me, what's a ruminant? Basically, it's just animals that eat grass and they have multiple stomachs for digesting that grass. You know, something about the fact that they're built to digest vegetation like that makes their meat better to me. And not only tasting better, but I think it actually is better for my body. But my body seems to be sensitive to every other kind of food there is out there right now. Because I've tried to reintroduce many things. And I've had to stick with ruminant meat, water, and salt if I want to be happy. But that doesn't necessarily mean that's the diet for you. There may be a different diet. Heck, you might even be, you might do better on vegetarian diet. I hate to say that, but... I don't know, some people tell me they do. Who am I to tell them that they're wrong? But I will tell you that for me, it's lion diet. Carnivore diet all the way, no plants, and that does great for me. So screw it, get up and do it. You can have this life too. You can have that strength and vitality that you've always wanted. I'm wishing you a great day and get out there and do it see you next time if we pay extra could we maybe get some grease or fat